simple lecture number eleven for control of HVC systems. So this is a transmission system it is mainly controllable and its effective use depends on the appropriate utilization of this controllability to ensure desired performance of the power system with the objective of providing the efficient and the stable operation and maximizing the flexibility of power control without compromising the safety of the equipment and the various level of our control are used in a digital manner in HVC processing system. So in this lecture we will discuss the uh, principal of uh, operation of all these controls, the implementation and the performance during the normal and abnormal system condition. So the first part of the this lecture it is a basic principle of control. So suppose first we can see the basic uh link. So as you know the basic diagram of the HVC transition system. So the single link diagram of a HVC transition link so is this is a three phase AC system and we use the transformer for depth changing. After that the rectifier also presents we need the walls. That convert the AC to DC. That DC is transmitted to the DC line. Again, at the inverter end, there is a, another converter at the receiving end, which is known as an inverter, which converts the DC into AC. Your basic HVC system. This is a around this point here. It is ID. This is rectifier. This is M. So from this diagram, we can draw the equivalent circuit of your system. So the equivalent circuit is. This is the recurrent circuit. Yet, this voltage is changeable. You can vary this voltage by the angle. This is the rectifier side. So, the voltage is called the video R cos alpha. 
ये दोनों के पास है रेजिस्टेंस सेट इसका आर सी आर दिस इज योर लाइन रेजिस्टेंस इट इज आर एल दिस इज योर इन का सेट रेजिस्टेंस दिस इज आर सी आई एंड दिस इज योर कॉल द मीडियम पी डी आई कॉस आर तो दिस इज हियर वी विल गेट द पी डी आई दिस इज साइड में मोटर वोल्टेज So this is your electrical circuit of your diagram. This single line diagram. So the direct current, the flowing to the rectifier from the rectifier to the inverter, is connected. Is in the is an ID is equal to video R. Cos alpha minus d i cos gamma d i r r c r plus r a minus r c i. This is a direct current flowing to the from the rectifier to the inverter. The power at the rectifier terminal is calculated by p d i. Is equal to V D R into I. And the power at the inverter side is calculated as P D I is equal to V D I into I. Or we can also write the P P D R minus I D square R C. This whole equation is V D R only in the previous lecture. Right? If the direct voltage at any point of the line and the current can be controlled by the control in the internal voltage at the rectifier terminal and the inverter terminal, this is as compared by the control in the gate control or uh, of the valve ignition control or control of the AC valve to the tap changing transfer. The gate control, it is a very fast. It is one to ten millisecond, and the gate changing, which is slow, it is a five to six per step, are used in a complementary manner. The gate control is used initially for rapid action, followed by the tap changing to restore the converter quantity to the normal range. And the power of the vessel, it is obtained. By reversing of the polarity of the direct voltage, if we reverse the polarity of the direct voltage at the both the end, then we can get the power reversal. So the this is the basic principle of control. Now, how can we select the controls? Right. So the following uh, some consideration influence the selection for control characteristic. So we will see. Uh, that basis for selection of control. So there are some consideration influence of selection of a control characteristic. The first one is the prevention of lag fluctuation in direct current due to variation in the AC system voltage. The first one is the prevention of a lag fluctuation in DC due to variation in AC. This is the first influence. The second influence is 
to maintain the direct voltage near the rated voltage. Maintaining the direct voltage near the rated voltage. This is a very important. The third influence is for the selection of control is maintain the power factor at the sending and the receiving end that are as high as possible. Maintaining power factor at the sending end receiving end data as high as possible. And the last one is the prevention of a communication failure. In water. and arc tank in rectifier. Now, what do we mean by communication failure in the inverter and the arc back in the rectifier? So, the arc back it is a reverse to the conductor in the reverse direction, and it is a one of the serious problem which is associated with mercury arc. It is a random phenomenon, right? And to remove an arc back, the current is diverted into a bypass valve. What is communication failure? The failure to complete communication before the commuting voltage reverses is referred to as a communication failure. Again, I repeat, a failure to complete commutation before the commutating voltage reverses, that means with sufficient margin for deionization state phase, is referred to as a commutation failure. It is not due to any misoperation of the valve. But in conditions in the circuit outside the wall. It is the most common with the inverter and occur during the disturbances such as a high direct current or a low alternating voltage. A rectifier can have a commutation failure only if the fine circuit is fixed. So this to the commutation failure and the hardware, it is uh, very necessary. From them. So now we understand the in detail that all these four basic influences, right? So the first influence is prevention of light fluctuation in DC. It is in DC. Now, rapid control of the converters to prevent the light fluctuation in direct current is an important requirement for the satisfaction operation of SOD transmission system. So, as you know, the equation, right, uh, ID is equal to VDOR cos alpha minus VDI cos gamma divided by RCR plus RE minus RCI. The line in the converter resistance are small. Yeah. The resistance of the line in the connector is small. And the small change in the VDOR and the VDI causes a large change in the direct current. For example, a 25% change in 
the voltage at either the inverter side or the rectifier circuit could cause the direct current to change by as much as 100 percent to change the 25 percent of voltage the direct current is changed 100 percent and this implies that if both the alpha and the gamma are kept constant the direct current can vary over a wide range for small change with the alternating voltage magnitude and such variation are generally unacceptable for a satisfied, satisfied, satisfied operation or a satisfactory performance of our power system and therefore the rapid control to prevent the fluctuation of a direct current is essential for a proper operation of the system. Uh, without such control, the SA system will not be implemented or it is impractical. The second point is uh, maintaining the direct voltage near the retained voltage. It is by this, it is understood. The third, the maintaining the power factor at the secondary and the receiver end that are as high as possible. So, why we maintain the power factor is high? So, there are some reasons for that. So, the reasons for maintaining power factor high. So, normally there are four reasons is there. The first reason is to, to keep the rated power to keep the rated power of the converter as high as possible. current and voltage at in the form transforming and the, the second reason is to reduce the stresses in the wall. The third reason is to minimize losses. Current rating of equipment in PC system to which the converter is connected in PC system. And the fourth one is that to minimize the voltage of it, the AC terminals as loading increases. To minimize voltage drop at the AC terminal. As loading increases. And the last one is to minimize the 
cause of reactive power supply. The uh, as you know, the equation of the power factor, which is cos phi, is equal to 1 by 2 cos alpha plus cos delta. So, to achieve a high power factor, Alpha for a rectifier and gamma for the inverter should be kept as low as possible from as soon from this equation. What is delta? It is alpha plus mu for in rectifier operation. It is alpha plus mu for inverter operation. So what is delta? It is alpha plus mu for rectifier and gamma plus mu for inverter. So the rectifier, however, has a minimum or limit alpha about 5 degree to ensure sufficient voltage across the wall before firing. And in inverter, it is necessary to maintain a certain minimum maximum angle to avoid communication failure. So the typically the value of gamma with acceleration margin is 15 degree for 50 year system and 18 degree for 60 hertz system. So these are the main reasons for maintaining the power factor. So in next lecture, we learn some control characteristic of HVC transmission system. Thank you.